All right, guys, today we're gonna be multi-apping with all three apps. I am gonna go ahead and turn on Grubhub. It is a really, really nice Sunday out today. Of course, it's a little cold, but it is beautiful. So hopefully the orders will come in and we can keep these wheels moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn Grubhub on and then I'm gonna go to Uber Eats. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the go button and of next is a DoorDash. And of course, I'm gonna throw my bet in on DoorDash that they bring us the first order. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Dash now and uh, Uber Eats is actually coming in. I'm gonna say, you know, we're just gonna to go to four. We'll start there with DoorDash. Charged phone, enough gas, hot to bag, start dashing. And now I'm gonna look at, oh gosh. <laughs> Our favorite, Walmart. $5.45, 1.9 miles. These type of Walmart orders, absolutely not. My experience, I've had a long waits there. It says one package or one order and it could be a ton of groceries. My wait time could be an hour. Too many things can go wrong with the Walmart orders, you know? I've had the big, big Walmart orders like in my last video those are really worth it because the pay is good and it's usually one item per drop off so those are fine those small ones absolutely not um you gotta pay me a lot more just in case i gotta wait an hour just in case i have to go to the fourth floor and just in case they're like you know i've heard some of you guys say cases of water even tvs which is crazy that is crazy who you know if it's a big TV, it wouldn't even fit in here. And then what if they, it's an apartment? <laughs> There's too many things. Uh, Uber Eats needs to pay way, way better on those Walmart orders. They're just too risky. All right, guys, I will, um, surprise DoorDash hasn't rang in yet. I'll let you guys know as soon as I get an order. So I haven't gotten an order yet, but last night, and I wasn't recording last night, um, I was out doing a delivery. It was probably around eight last night. Um, you know, it was my, I, you know, I was gonna go home. I was like, this is gonna be my final delivery. It was Chinese food. Um, so I was dropping off the Chinese food and I got another offer. One of those offers that you just can't refuse. It was a 1.2 miles uh, for roughly like $7 and it was gonna take me back in the direction towards home and it was close the pickup was close to where I was dropping off so I was like this is absolutely perfect my kind of offer you know to end the night and it was like coffee um, two coffees and some pastries so I drop off the Chinese food and I head over to and this is uber eats I head over to get the coffee and the pastries for the customer and so I pick it up and, and as I usually do, I notify the customer that I'm on my way. And so I'm just probably, I think from the restaurant to the customer is like four minutes. So it wasn't gonna take me very long to get there. So I was on my way and I get a text message. I'm probably like a minute, two minutes from the customer. And the customer says, we just heard gunshots outside. Please don't come and keep the order. Sorry for the inconvenience. And I'm like, you know, that was very thoughtful of them letting me know because at this point it was like 8.47 p.m. at night. And, you know, I messaged her back telling her, you know, okay, thanks for letting me know. I'll let Uber Eats know and, you know, stay safe. Um, because who knows what's going on and you know I'm literally right down the street about to go drop off this order and they're hearing gunshots outside so I was very thankful that she messaged me and you know let me know you know don't come and and to um, just hold on to the order so I called um, and and I'm over by the area I'm about I'm getting really close and I do I see a cop car and so I'm calling Uber Eats to let them know what's going on. And I'm, you know, heading home. And then I see two cop cars with their lights on. I don't know if they had, um, were heading towards that situation or what was going on, but I seen three cop cars 
you know, right around the time that I got the message. So I'm on the phone with Uber Eats to let them know, you know, the situation and pretty much uh, this is an unsafe situation for me to drop off the order and the customer doesn't want me to come anyways, which I am not gonna go, <laughs> of course not. So Uber Eats, the, the representative tells me to go down to the triangle and to cancel the order and they told me to choose the, the other at the bottom. And so the order gets canceled. I get the base pay and I get to keep the order. Um, but they had told me that they can't see the messages between me and the customer, which I would think that they could because it's within the app. Um, and then I also asked them, I was like, is the customer going to get a refund on their uh, order? They told me that the customer has to call in and request it, which I don't know. I would feel like that they would reach out to the customer and, and you know, verify all this but anyways the customer I'm sure got taken care of I got free food which was awesome and you know I was gonna deliver it but I'm not gonna go into unsafe situation so that uh, was kind of what happened last night it was late and I was like thank you for letting me know because you don't want to drive into a situation if there's who knows what's going on you know so anyways I haven't got an order yet so I'm gonna take a drive and, and see what we can get all right guys as soon as I leave and, and drive out of the parking lot, I started getting offers. So I got three other offers. Here they are. You know, the pay is too low, the miles don't make sense, and then of course there's the Walmart order, which is an absolute no. The pay is not worth it. Oh, I'm getting an add-on. Let me see what this is. I ain't taking that. So I'm getting an add-on for the order that I just accepted for $3.68 for an additional 4.4 miles. That does not make sense. Absolutely not. So I'm going to hit the X on that. So the offer that I just got that I'm actually heading to right now is for $8.15 for 3.8 miles. That's more of a reasonable offer. So I am heading to Baja Fresh right now. I am not too far. Three minutes, 1.2 miles. So we're heading there now. All right, guys. I got the order it was ready which is awesome sometimes when I come here the orders aren't ready but today the order was ready and there was other orders sitting there so that is a plus so I'm walking out the restaurant Uber Eats has given me another add-on three dollars and 55 cents for 4.5 miles that is an absolutely not the pay is low and the miles are higher i don't think so so we are gonna go get um this customer's order dropped off i did message them that i am on my way um she is six minutes 2.4 miles it's a leave at door they did leave some notes it sounds like maybe previous drivers have dropped the order off at the wrong apartment because she says police Please make sure apartment is correct before leaving at door and then she gives her apartment number so um, of course we're gonna make sure we are at the right apartment and get her her order so we're gonna head there and uh, keep these wheels moving all right guys Baja Fresh's orders dropped off. The building was easy to find. The GPS actually took me right to the building, which I absolutely love when it does that. Um, the building was visible, or the building number was visible, as well as um, you know the apartment numbers within that building. So the unit was very easy to find. They were on the first floor. Um, and I've mentioned this before. If the apartment number is by the door, or you can get it within the photo with the order, um, do always try to get the apartment number 
in the photo when you take a picture. Um, that way you have proof you did drop the order off at the right door, um, or maybe the customer put the wrong apartment number, and but it matches up in the app that you dropped it off where it's supposed to be dropped off. So I always try to do that if I can get the apartment number in the photo. Um, that way you have proof that you dropped it off at the right apartment. So I did get a couple offers when I was dropping off um, the food and the first one that I got was for three dollars and a fifty cents for three point three miles absolutely not the pay is too low and it was for uber eats so that's a definite no and then which of course I declined and then I got an offer for four dollars and eighty three cents 6.9 miles now that's a double absolute not so of course I hit the X in the right top corner um, no that's right there is a, a no tipper and those are some miles for four dollars and 83 cents absolutely not so uh, the orders are coming in there's been quite a few um, low offers and uh, miles not reasonable so we are going to take a spin back to the area where all the restaurants are and hopefully i'll catch something on the way there all right guys so i was driving back to the area where all the restaurants are and i'm getting offers doordash has been quiet today which is surprising to me because they're usually ringing like crazy. Uber Eats is really ringing today, but the offers have been unreasonable. So I've had to decline a few offers. Um, the miles are high and the pay is low. So that's an absolute no. And then I got another Uber Eats offer that came in, which is a lot more reasonable. Um, $10.39 for 3.5 miles. Now I have to pick up at this Indian restaurant. I'm here because I was literally right here when I got the offer. Now the question is, is the food gonna be ready? Because typically it doesn't matter what platform it is, I'm always having to wait. Um, we're crossing our fingers that the food is ready. We are gonna go in there and check in on it. Um, like I said, I usually have to wait. It doesn't matter what platform. So uh, hopefully they uh, have the order ready today. All right guys, let's go in. Hi, uh, checking on an order for Alex Q, Uber Alex Eats. Perfect, thank you. Have a good day. All right, the order was ready, which is absolutely awesome. I love it when the order is ready. Um, it didn't look too busy in there, so that's probably why it was ready, which uh, I'm not complaining. I want to keep these wheels moving. So the customer's eight minutes, 3.2 miles. They did leave notes. It is a leave at door, not to ring the doorbell. So I don't ring the doorbell unless specified anyway. So we are heading there. We're going to go get this order dropped off. And uh, I did turn off my other apps, Grubhub and DoorDash, until I get a little bit closer to the drop off, typically about five minutes and then. I will turn them back on and see if we can catch another order within the vicinity of this drop off. All right, guys. All right, the orders dropped off. It was a house, it was easy to find, and um, the customer's address was uh, close to the front door, so I was able to get the address in the photo with the food. Now, of course, you guys ain't gonna see the address because I gotta cut it out, you know, for, for you know, security and safety reasons for the customer. But on the way here, I got an offer from um, Uber Eats. Now, DoorDash has not rang in and Grubhub has not rang in. I don't know what's going on with those apps and I'm very surprised with DoorDash. Um, I guess it's an Uber Eats day, but the offers have been so unreasonable. This offer was for $2.50 for 2.5 miles. Now, the miles is reasonable for a seven plus dollar order order but for two dollars and fifty cents that's a no tip and you know I don't think the customers realize or I, I would assume that they don't realize that we are having to use our own vehicles and pay our own gas out of pocket and our own maintenance and everything if we accepted all of these two dollar and fifty cent orders three dollar orders 
we're going to be negative out here. We're actually would be working for free and not making any money. So we definitely rely on tips, you know, to make some money and to be able to um, put gas in our car and, you know, there's wear and tear and, and so much. And I'm getting an offer right now. Here's another one. Uber Eats, of course, $9.89, 8.5 miles. No, <laughs> the miles is too high. If the miles were lower, you know, three, four, five miles, that's more reasonable. But that is just too, too low of pay for that high of miles. So it, it timed out. So I didn't even have to hit the X on it. But yeah, it's like, you know, we rely on tips because we, if, if we didn't get tipped, then I don't think anybody would be out here working. I would hope not because you're not making any money. You're actually losing money. You're paying gas out of your pocket. You got your maintenance and, and uh, you know, whatever else happens. And if you're a full-time driver like myself, you're going to have to replace tires. And, you know, we got oil changes and I mean, everybody has oil changes and, but there's just maintenance and stuff. So yeah, that was a very low offer. <laughs> I don't like seeing those, but it happened. So I am going to head back to where all the restaurants are and uh, see what else we can get. Hopefully DoorDash will ring in or Grubhub, but um, it's seeming like an Uber Eats day, but there's a lot of low offers. So I don't know what's going on, but we're going to head back and see what we can get. All right, guys. All right, guys, it has been a moment. I have had to decline quite a few orders. Um, miles high, uh, pay low, pay low. Just a lot of bad orders today for whatever reason. I don't know what's going on. Um, <laughs> but I did finally get something that it'll come eventually. <laughs> so I held out, I got a 2.3 mile order, $6.61 for Victor Rico's. Um, it is a Grubhub. I am going to have to wait a moment. I am going to leave Uber Eats and DoorDash on just in case I get a better order because sometimes you never know. Uh, this is Victor Rico's. If they're busy, they're going to put me on the back burner. At least that's what it feels like. So we're going to see how long it takes me to get this order. I'm going to go in there and check in. Uh, for the pickup time, Grubhub is saying 2.06 and it is 2.07. I bet you anything, the order isn't ready unless somebody else dropped it. So we're going to go in there and get this order hopefully soon. All right, guys. <laughs> Hi, can I check on an order for Taryn A with Grubhub? Taryn A? Yeah. It's not ready yet, okay? Okay, thank you. Alright guys, I got the order surprisingly. It was only like less than maybe two minutes um, to get the order. So which was awesome because I was a little concerned. There was a bunch of people waiting for food and um, I seen a bunch of tickets on um, you know where the cooks are. And when I see that, <laughs> you don't know how long the wait's going to be, but uh, it was my lucky day. I got my order. So we're on our way. Six minutes, 1.9 miles. Now I was looking at the address because I messaged the customer and told her that I'm on my way. Um, it looks like a house address, but then I was reading the notes and it's a leave at door. But then in the notes, it says build the building number, but there's no apartment number. But sometimes the address is their unit number so i'm hoping that's the case <laughs> we shall find out but i did let her know that i'm on my way just in case um she forgot to put her apartment number that way she can be by her phone i'm getting an offer from uber eats because i left my other apps on because she's so close um to where i'm at right now four dollars and 72 cents for 5.1 miles absolutely not absolutely not i don't know what is up with the offers today they are really really bad 
Um, and nobody's tipping it looks like or the tips are very very small and not even worth it so um, yeah hopefully things will pick up it is you know later afternoon it's about two o'clock so it's a really nice day I don't know if people are just out or what's going on but <laughs> um, the offers are slow and uh, they're just really bad so all right guys let's go get this order dropped off hopefully uh, this drop off goes smooth all right is dropped off and um yeah the customer provided the building number which helped me find her unit and her there is no unit number the address is her unit number so it worked out perfect extremely easy to find um on the way here of course i got some offers some low pain high mile offers which of course i declined and then i got another grubhub offer um for 1.3 miles for seven dollars and 66 cents i am right down the road from the restaurant um it does state that i will only need to pay which i do have my grubhub card i had actually lost my original one that was white I believe it was white um i had lost it and so i filed for a, uh, a lost card and they sent me this purple card and um and then of course after i got this card i found my card so <laughs> um yeah but i got a purple one so i gotta always remember it's purple i always go looking for my white one um so we're gonna head there now and i've actually picked up from this restaurant they're pretty good um just hand them the card swipe sign take a picture of the receipt and go drop it off so let's go get this order all right guys Hi, I'm picking up a Grubhub order for Tyler S. Thank you. of a wait for this order um so i go in there to check on the order and the girl but i it's kind of hard to hear in there too um the girl behind the counter the you know the employee she tells me that the order is not scheduled to be picked up i think is what she said until 240 something i was having a hard time hearing her because it's kind of loud in there and i'm like and this isn't the first time this has happened with the Grubhub orders, the, you know, the ones where you just got to go pay for. 
on my phone it shows the pickup time for 224 and when i got there it was like 225 so um she's like oh so she went back there and um they got it whipped out pretty quick she said it's going to be like five or ten minutes it was actually only five minutes so that's reasonable um I, what did they order i think they ordered some type of soup or something and some 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 other snack um but i got the order and um, she gave me the receipt, so I took a picture of the receipt and submitted it. I also made sure to go through the prompts and hit order not ready. Um, I think I put 10 to 20 minutes because she said 10 minutes. And then um, order not started until I arrived because that was the case. So anyways, we got the order. It wasn't too long. I'm going to go ahead and hit got order leaving. The customer should be right down the road. And the thing with the place and pay Grubhub orders or the pickup order or pay and pickup orders with Grubhub at least from my experience in my market if they are in an apartment Grubhub does not give us their apartment information it just has their address so if I get to an apartment complex and um, <laughs> there's no apartment number I always have to contact the customer I might be able to zoom in on the map and see if we're going to an apartment I can it's not an apartment it's a house so we're good I don't know if they've fixed it because I haven't had one of these orders for a bit um, but it is a house so we're heading there three minutes 0.7 miles let's go get it dropped off and get another order and um, let me turn on uh, Uber Eats and DoorDash try to catch an order on the way there The order is a drop out. It was a house who is literally right around the corner, easy to find. And uh, the customer left a note to knock, so I gave him a knock. And of course, I've gotten a few offers, um, low offers. And I got a Walmart order coming in $5.61, 4.9 miles. Uh, that's an absolute no. So I guess it's just one of those days, guys, just moseying along, trying to get what orders we can and, uh, yeah, grab the good ones. So I am going to take a spin and see what else we can find. All right.